Hey, what's up, everyone? I hope you're all doing well. If you don't know me, my name is Chaotic Kate. I'm a full-time streamer over on Twitch, and I'll make sure to leave a link down in the description below so you can come and check me out whenever I'm live. But in today's video, we're going to be talking about the best settings to use in OBS for streaming and recording. Let's get right into it. So what I'm going to do for this video is I'm going to split it up into two different parts. First part is going to be if you have a good PC and you can run any game at max frames and you have extra power to uh, record and stream and you don't have any hiccups or uh, software problems while recording or anything like that. So that's going to be for you. And then if you want to see the part for a lower quality PC, but you still are able to stream different games and stuff like that, uh, I'll leave the timestamps. And so you can go ahead and fast forward to that. But anyways, for the max PC settings that you want to use, first of all, you want to go to uh, output and you want to change your output mode to advance. This is going to help you uh, change the specific uh, settings for streaming and recording separately and it goes a little bit more in depth so you can pretty much go through and copy everything that I have depending on uh, different situations and so for the encoder you want to have this set to the Inve uh, NVIDIA Invec new this uh, came out a little bit while ago and it's the best thing that NVIDIA has out if you have a different one the regular 264 works, but definitely if you have this one, set this up. Um, for the rate control, you wanna go to control bit rate. And for the bit rate, depending on if you have good internet, I recommend setting up an ethernet cable. And if you do and you test your Wi-Fi and all this stuff and it's at max, or it's it's really well, go ahead and set this to 6,000 bit rate. If you're streaming on Twitch, the max bit rate you can have is 6,000 anyways. But uh, if you're streaming on YouTube and stuff like that, you can have a higher bit rate. But for the most part, I'd say at 6,000. But if you have a lower uh, internet speed and you can't use Ethernet, I'd say you uh, set it to about 5,000, 4,500, and you'll be all right. For the keyframe interval, interval you want to keep at two. Preset, you want to go to max quality. Again, if you don't have any issues while running uh, your game and stream, um, whenever you're testing it and stuff like that, go ahead and set this to max quality. Always keep this on high. Uh, turn on look ahead and cycle visual tuning. Keep this at zero and then turn your max B frames to four. For recording, what you guys want to do is pretty much just imitate what you have at streaming. So whatever settings you had for the control bit rate, if you have 6,000, keep that at 6,000 keyframe interval two, and then make sure that the rest of these are the same. You don't have to change anything too much. One thing that I recommend doing is just changing where the recording path goes to. I have a specific folder within my PC that I want all my videos to go to after I'm done recording. Uh, and yeah, you don't have to mess with any of this and just copy whatever it is that you had on streaming now we go to video you want to keep your base canvas resolution at 1920 by 1080 don't change this uh your out output scaled resolution you can change this to 1920 by 1080p or uh, 720p i recommend keeping it at 1080 if you're going to be doing recording off of your stream and bods um that way you have the best quality to work off of that but if you have like some viewers that are complaining about how um they can't load your stream as well you can change this down to 720p because maybe their internet can't load your stream as well uh for the downscale filter you can keep this at length those or you change this to the 36 samples and if you have a little bit of stuttering you can turn this down to 16. common fps value like i said if you have a good pc you want to put this all the way to 60. um and then for I think that's about it for video. You can change it to a little bit, but like I said, this is for max PC settings. Go to advanced now. And for the process priority, you wanna change this to above normal. I believe it starts at normal. And then you can leave all this and then un make sure that sources, under sources, the enable browser source hardware acceleration is unchecked. This will prevent uh, stuttering and dropped frames in OBS and it'll put more of your CPU power towards OBS. So that's it for advanced and that's it for if you have a good PC that can run all of this and stream, you definitely want to put max quality towards it. And now let's get on to if you have a little bit of a lower quality PC and have to change your stream according to your lower quality. So you can keep uh, general and stream all this the same. And then for output, you want to make sure that this is on advanced. Both si uh, both different types of PCs, you want to make sure this is on advanced. Uh, go to streaming, go to rate control, and 
uh, change this to controlled bitrate. This doesn't depend on how well you can, how well your PC runs. This is completely based on your internet speed. You want to make sure that this is at like, I'd say 5,000 is about normal, but if you have ethernet in, you can change this to 6,000. But if you're still experiencing lags, go ahead and drop it to 4,500. That should be good. The keyframe interval, you always want to keep at two. And then for your preset, you want to change to either quality. And if you're still experiencing a little bit of lags, you want to change to performance. I wouldn't recommend using max performance or max quality, uh, either or don't even touch these three. So quality or performance, if, if we do performance, um, you want to make sure that you keep this on high and that these are unchecked. GPU, you want to put this at zero. And then for max B frames, you want to change this to two. Um, and then if we move over to the recording section, you want to make sure that the controlled bit rate copies, uh, whatever you have in the recording section. And then now to go into the encoder settings for both you, in the encoder, you can change it to the NVIDIA NVEC new. This doesn't really change how well your stream and your PC runs, uh, together. So I would. I would recommend trying this on NVIDIA NVEC new, but you can drop it to the original 264. Rescale output, you wanna keep this at 1920 by 1080. Don't focus on the audio track or Twitch VOD. And now for the recording, you want to mimic whatever you have on the streaming, and then you can choose where your videos go. So if you're gonna be doing recording, I'd recommend making a separate tab for your video files um, to where your videos, as soon as you're done recording, they're sent there. So you don't have to go looking in the download section. Uh, now for video, you want to keep this at 1920 by 1080, but definitely drop this to uh, your 720p. You want to do 1280, 720. This will make it to where your stream runs smoother and uh, doesn't lag as much. The quality will, of course, drop, but it's a good trade for a uh, smooth stream. You want to change this. It won't let me do it because I am recording. You want to change this to the uh 16 samples whatever that middle section is i know it will say like none uh, a smaller one by cubic i know is the 16 step one so go ahead and change it to the 16 and then for common fps value if you run your games around like 60 70 frames i'd recommend dropping this to 30 or the 29 point whatever for the last bit of settings go to advanced and then under general in process priority make sure that this is at above normal i think it starts at normal and uh yeah make sure it's at above normal and then for sources make sure that this is unchecked the enable browser source hardware acceleration both of these will help prevent uh lags and stutters in your stream and yeah this helped me out a lot this was something that i had to deal with a lot and it took me a while to figure out and so after all of it's done, go ahead and hit apply. I'm going to hit cancel uh, just in case because I know I changed some of the settings. And yeah, that's about it. I don't think that there's any other settings that can really help. One thing that you can do if your stream is still starting a little bit is go to your browser and look up game mode settings. Make sure that game mode is off. It starts on, so make sure it's off. And then go to your Xbox game bar and also turn this off. This will help your uh, PC and your stream run a little bit better. I know some people said that they that by turning this off helped their stream load faster and it didn't have any stutters after this. So uh, go ahead and make sure that both of those are unchecked. And I think that's about it. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video and I hope it helped you out a lot. If it did, consider uh, subscribing for more content and like the video, it helps me out a lot for the YouTube algorithm. And yeah, that's it. I hope you guys have a good one.